This is, um, this is a, like an incomplete list. I just kind of randomly came up with it. Um, it's basically a list of, so far, 11 things. I might do another video or whatnot. But this is my personal, like, top 11 um, ways to be happy. Or, you know, ways to be happier. I'll come up with a name later on. Anyway, first thing is to think positive. And I know that seems like a common born, oh, born, you know, sort of thing. But it is important to try to find some sort of positivity in something. You know, like, um, like for example, you know, you're walking around and you trip over a crack and you fall down and say so you get like a skint knee or like a scrape on your arm now you know it's not gonna kill you you know you didn't break no bones so instead of going oh god that hurt oh mm, that's killing me instead of going around like complaining about the scraped knee for example just go like this hey I didn't break a bone. You know, or, well, next time I learn to watch where I'm going, you know. Try to find something. Just be positive. Don't be afraid to, you know, giggle at something. Don't be afraid to, you know, just. Don't be afraid to know that everything is better. Everything's gonna get better. Just live by that. The second one, very importantly, avoid soul suckers. Now, these are individuals who bring you down. These are the, you know, oh boo hoo, oh my god, drama llamas. You know them. Uh, these are the people who, when you're feeling good, you know, when you're happy and all that, these are the people come along and just vision, shoot it down. I mean, they shoot it down, blow it up, blow torch it, bury it underground, and take a dump on it. You know, they just ruin all happiness. Now, th these are the people who, um, and I've encountered a few in my life. These are the people who, like, for example, if you uh, won a rifle, uh, raffle, rifle, rifle, <laughs> if you won a contest, uh, you won, you get a $50 gift card to a store that you've shot all the time. Woohoo! You know. And there's that one person that comes around going, well, you can't buy much for fifty dollars. Uh, I don't even like that store. They could have gave you a hundred dollar card. Ugh. Forever twenty one. Well, that's a shitty store. Those people. People who bring on their problems when you're not feeling like really listening to it, you know, like, uh, you know, birthdays and Christmas and Valentine's, those upbeat holidays. You don't want somebody to come around and go, my cat died today. Oh, it's your wedding day? Uh, happy uh, wedding day. My cat died today. I'm constipated. Yeah, uh, I dated your husband one time, and he was a cheating bastard. You know, just somebody kind of bring that down. Uh, three, take care of yourself. And this, this kind of, some people don't get what's uh, so great about really taking care of yourself. Sometimes you have to put yourself forward. You know, you can't just always want, always try to keep everyone happy, because that's not good for you. You can't always go, well, I gotta take care of this friend, I gotta take care of that friend, I gotta take care of this and that and this and that. And... No, take care of yourself. It's not selfish. It's not. It's not an oh me first, you second and third, and everyone else. No, so you gotta take care of yourself.
you know, know your limits. You know, if you got to take care of kids, if you got kids to take care of, instead of stressing out, try to find something. You know, the kids are asleep. Go watch Oprah. You know, something that cheers you up. Go and watch your comedy and laugh. Freaking watch Spongebob with your kids and go, <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> you know. and, but that also goes with uh, eating better and sleeping better. Um, if you go to bed at 11 o'clock or midnight, go to bed at 10. Even if you don't fall asleep at 12, just lay in bed at 10 o'clock. Don't get on the computer, don't text or nothing like that. Just lay down and try to get to sleep. And then you wake up in the morning you feel good. Also, eat better. You know, avoid junk food and fast food. Literally, go a week where all you eat is fruits and vegetables. You know, caffeine, no. Cake, no. Just eat stuff like fruits and vegetables. And you'll notice you'll have a lot more energy. You know, lately I've been eating beans, fruit, and chili at every meal. Seriously, I, that's what I eat. And I found that my whole system has gotten better. I'm, I'm losing weight. I'm no longer sleepy. I don't know how that really interacted with it. I go to bed at the same time. But I don't get any sort of like sleepiness or stomach trouble, you know, trying to poop and all that. Um, five, uh, number five is don't be afraid of what people think. Right? Let's say you're going to a grocery store. What's that favorite cereal? That cereal you liked when you was a kid. Count Chocula. Oh yes. Now you see that. Don't worry about what other people think. Just go, Oh my god, Count Chocula! Count Chocula! <laughs> and don't worry about what people going, What the? They're that weirdo. <laughs> And people laugh at you, just don't care, you know? Don't worry about what people think. If your socks don't match your eyes, who cares, you know? If you want to carry, if you want to wear, you know, if you want to wear something that's a bright color, do it. You know, if you want to wear um, glow-in-the-dark beat-up bracelets, Go ahead. You know, who cares? Because I find as an adult, we get to the point where we're so concerned about what people think. You know, oh, I can't, you know, I can't go out with him or I can't eat lunch with him. What will people think? Oh, I can't, you know, oh, I can't even drive in a certain car. What will people think? You know, I can't wear this. Or that, you know, I'm, I'm a 40 year old house mom. I can't wear, you know, these pair of pants that fit good. Because what will people think? Who cares? You know. Um. Wait. Sorry. Um. Uh. Six. Bury the hatchet over petty things. And I'm not talking about somebody who killed your parents or molested you when you was a kid. I'm talking about just get over petty things. Things that don't really matter. You know, don't sit there and go, oh, he cheated on me. Oh, he cheated on me. That was like 10 years ago he cheated on me. Oh, he, he cheated on me with my sister. Oh, God. Don't Get over it. Like, well, he cheated on me. I'm not dating his ass again. That's all you gotta do. Just go, screw it. I'm not doing that. Okay. Get over it. If someone stole your crayons when you were eight, and you're still bitching about it now, get over it. That will weigh you down. That will tear at you. 
Negativity is like a cancer. It will eat away at you until you are nothing. Um, seven. Number seven. Love yourself before you love others. Now, if you can look in the mirror at your naked body and go, I got a little fat right here. Mm. Yeah, I got a birthmark right here at my armpit. I like that. I like my little birthmark right there at my armpit. Look at yourself and go, man, I look good. My hair looks good. I don't have to change my hair. I don't have to change my face. I don't have to fix my cross eyes or nothing. I don't care if my nails do look like they got eaten up. I don't care what people think. I love who I am. And look at yourself in the mirror and say that. I love who I am. And don't go out and getting your hair dyed and getting contacts and fake nails and all that stuff just because everyone's telling you oh oh honey you know your hair don't look right or oh honey your nails are messed up you need fake ones love yourself um eight uh number eight carry your own something that makes you feel good um i really have no idea how to do that Always have something around you that makes you happy. You know, um, say like your favorite keychain. Right, say you got like a little keychain, it's a like a little plushie, and that's comical. And you you look at that, and you, you know you smile, and it cheers you up. Um. Or, you know, like a picture of your kids. You know, a picture of your kids and they've done something funny, something that you can remember. Like, oh yeah, this was uh, Timmy and Vanessa Christmas Day four years ago, yeah. Yeah, that was the day Timmy got in that golf cart. That, uh, what do they call that? Power wheels thing and ran over my husband. Husband fell head first into the cake. It was funny. Something like that. Something that will make you laugh and, and cheer you up. And this varies person to person, but anything. Yeah. Um, number nine, smile. That's it. Seriously, just. When you go to the grocery store, smile at people. If you. You know, at the red light, you see somebody, smile at them. Uh, number 10. Uh, be around happy things. I do it all the time. Oh, yes. I, uh, I listen to upbeat, cheery music. I don't listen to that dark, depressing stuff. I got some dark, depressing, you know, sort of down... Uh, emotional songs on my iPod, but I have a lot of upbeat songs. I got a lot of uh, you know stuff like Frank Sinatra and Elvis. You know that that cheered me up. You know, Viva Las Vegas. Come on, how can you not smile at that? I got a lot of uh, you know techno, that happy hardcore. I got that. I got um. I got a lot of J-Rock music too, and some K-Pop, C-Pop, Thai pop J-Pop, I got a lot of pop music, so that cheered me up. I also ha I also go to Meme Base, you know, I Can Has Cheeseburger, uh, MemeBase.com, Meme Base After Dark, um, So Much Pun, various you know, cheeseburger networks. I go to those sites because I find something that'll make me laugh. You know, I look at, you know, foul bachelor frog and go, oh, I can relate to that. Or, you know, go go look at troll pictures or paranoid uh, parrot. You know, any of that stuff. And that cheered me up. Um, I also, um, 
Also, I'm not looking at just funny pictures of cats. You know, they, uh, YouTube, you look for it, you'll find something that you uh, The last one is become better educated. Now, I'm not implying that, you know, you're stupid or nothing. I'm just saying, you ever notice when you learn something new, when you learn like a new technique or a new, when you learn something new, you notice it, it always kind of boosts you up, make you feel good. Yeah. Do that. You know, uh, read a new book. Some book that you never read before. Read it. Because what I used to do when I was a teenager, I used to read, you know, books on other countries. And I would pick up words, uh, terminology. You know, like, uh, I will learn sort of history of these uh, cities and these countries and stuff like that and that would boost my self esteem because I go, I did not know that about Bosnia. I did not know Bosnia sir, was once part of the Ottoman Empire. Well that was 15 years ago so I don't know if that's correct now but I remember I didn't know it. I remember going, wow, the Ottoman Empire had a lot of countries. You know, uh, read a new book, uh, learn HTML codes. If you do Tumblr, if you're a Tumblrer, learn some HTML codes. Learn, you know, learn how to design like each one of your posts with different fonts and different colors and you know different font size and learn how to actually just kind of do it that way you know learn a new language you don't have to master in it just pick up something anything just you know learn uh, for example you know what I like to do I like to learn about other religions other cultures and customs you know, I know if I were to ever go to a place like Malaysia, I know if I was ever going to host a party, not to have pork. Because, you know, in Malaysia, the majority of the people are Muslim, and Muslims don't eat pork. Nor do the Jews, so don't cook pork. Cook chicken. Because that's one thing all religions have in common. Nobody's against chicken. So I kind of learned that. I learned the difference. You know, here lately I've been learning about, um, you know, Islamic culture. Um, I know the difference between a burqa, a niqab, and a hijab. I guess it's pronounced niqab. Or is it niqab? Hmm. I learned the difference between each one. I know that a, I think it's pronounced pashin. Pashina, or Pashima, Pashin. Anyway, I know that it's a basic, like, silky scarf. I learned that. I learned, um, you know, I've learned the lyrics to some songs. You know, and that's an, that's an education, you know. I learned a, um, I'm trying to think of his name. He has, he's, I think he's Swedish, and he does this song called Insha'Allah. Uh, Mayor Maher, I keep saying Mayor, it's Maher Zyram or something like that. And I learned the lyrics of that song, so when he sings it, I can sing along with him. You know, and do that. That's entertainment. So, you know, this is a long video, but if you go through life doing this, you will find you will be a lot happier.